Good morning. Today we are going to talk about one of the basic elements of Russian culture. It used to determine the order of people's lives and it still has great influence on our lives. It's one of the most interesting phenomena for people studying Russian culture. I think you can guess that the topic of our lecture is the Russian folk calendar. First of all, we should remember that any calendar has a long history and is very specific. It is necessary to say that Russian people usually think that calendar is a simple way to count days and remember the important days. But as well as this, one can say that the calendar reflects our special worldview, the understanding of the relationship between people and nature. And of course, the calendar reflects people's vision of time and their understanding of life. The first calendar was mainly based on the natural way of life, on the season changes and farming. For instance, winter used to start in a day when the ground was covered with snow. Vice versa, when it started melting, people used to celebrate the first day of spring. The calendar had four points that were of greatest importance. Vernal equinox, summer solstice, uh, then uh, it was also the autumnal equinox and winter solstice. These dates determined the farming process. For example, the date when the harvest was to be gathered. We can also say that New Year was celebrated on the first day of March and it celebrated the day when nature started awakening from a long winter sleep. The Orthodox calendar and the traditional calendar are united into one. It may be surprising for you, but the two calendars are closely connected. On the one hand, all important religious holidays were to be observed. On the other hand, it is easy to notice that the pagan traditions still have great influence on our everyday life. The best example of their interconnection is the holiday of Maslinitsa. It is usually celebrated in spring. It is celebrated to remember that winter is over and it's important to welcome spring. The main meaning of this holiday is to show that winter is not forever and it can end sometime. Of course, Maslinitsa should be viewed as an originally pagan festival. At the same time, for many people, it is the time when people are getting ready for Lent. It can be inferred that the Russian calendar is a system of holidays. It includes several, several holiday cycles. The first cycle included the so-called fixed feasts. Their dates could not be changed. This group includes Orthodox Christmas, the presentation of Jesus at the temple, the Annunciation, uh, and as well as this, it includes the Domitian of the Mother of God. The second group includes the so-called movable feasts, their dates depended on the day of Easter. For example, the holiday of Pentecost and or the so-called Trinity Day is celebrated 50 days away from Easter Sunday. In addition to this big and complex systems, there are two systems that influence the calendar. The first one is the natural calendar and we have already touched upon it. The second one is the social calendar. The social calendar determines the dates for marriages, social feasts and, of course, for commemoration for the dead. One more important thing that we should know about the Russian calendar is the difference between the Julian calendar and the Gregorian calendar. The Julian calendar was proposed by Julius Caesar in 46 BC. It had been used in Russia up until 1918. 
But the problem was that the Russian system had to correspond to the European system. This is why the system was changed. However, several problems appeared. One of them is the tradition of celebrating two New Year holidays in Russia. The first one is celebrated according to the Gregorian calendar. The second one is celebrated according to the Julian calendar. And this causes some problems, especially for the people who are fasting, because Orthodox Christmas is celebrated later than New Year nowadays. So we can say that Russian calendar includes old Slavic ideas alongside with the Orthodox traditions and the everyday routine connected with farming and animal breeding. There are many days which are dedicated to celebrating um, the memory of the saints. And the calendar includes the information about the season, the sun and the moon, animals' behavior and natural phenomena. We should also remember the important role of both proverbs and omens. They reflect the traditions and the rituals of different days. As you can see, the Russian calendar can be viewed as a complex system that is used in everyday life. Let us provide an example from the book by Nikolai Ivanovich Reshetnikov, The Russian Folk Calendar, that was published in Moscow in 2014. So, today is the 18th of April, which used to be the 1st of May. This day is connected with the names of several saints. One of them is Reverend Euphemius. He lived on the shore of the wide sea. Since his ideas were wise and understandable, many people listened to him and decided to follow him. This is why he built a convent on the shore of the wide sea. However, the Norwegians attacked him and his convent and killed many people, many monks were died. Yet, sometime later, with the help of Marfa Baretska, he was able to restore the convent. He died in 1435, but his relics were open to the public only in the 17th century. One of the folk names of this day is Kuzma or Agarodnik. According to the old belief, Kuzma used to look after the household uh, and after the animals. People were afraid that someone or something could harm their harvest. Because of that, they performed certain rituals. One of them was to throw copper money into streams. There was one more tradition that existed in the northwest of Russia. People used to make and burn straw effigies after dancing around them. This meant that everything bad also disappeared. So, there is a proverb that people usually say, Agarodnik is knocking on the door, hoping for the future harvest. This means that uh, this day will bring very good harvest if all traditions and rituals are observed. To summarize the main ideas expressed in the lecture, we can say the following. The Russian four calendar is a complex system including different ideas. It reflects the vision that Russian people have on life. Its main function is to mark the passage of time. In addition to this, the Russian calendar is a great source of knowledge about the traditions and customs for people studying Russian culture. The Russian culture reflects the development and the history of the country and its people as well. One of the most remarkable things about the Russian calendar is a great number of holidays that are loved and celebrated by all people. This is why we do encourage you to learn more about them and celebrate them with us.